Hey, what's going on? It's my name's Chopper. So today we have the top five things that we hated about Call of Duty Ghosts. Now, granted, I know not everybody hates Ghosts, and I, I wouldn't say I necessarily hate the game, but it wasn't one of my favorite Call of Duties. And uh, this top five is basically a top five of things that generally made the community mad, or the things that we didn't like, or we found annoying, or we found overpowered, or whatever. So these are my top five, four things that we didn't like about Call of Duty Ghosts. So coming in at number five, we have the M27 IAR and the IED. So uh, for those LMG users, you guys, the M27 was a camper's dream. I mean, this thing would two-shot at any range. You could throw a silencer on it, and it really wouldn't affect its range whatsoever. It was a fully automatic LMG, like I said, that can two-shot, and it was it was just a monster. It, hold, it held 100, I believe, and you could just shred through teams of people. You could. It was often paired with a silencer and a thermal, and people would, you know, camp up in their corners or post up somewhere, and you could not touch them. I mean, this thing was an insta-melt. And that thing, that's a personal one for me. That really got on my nerves was the M27. And then also that's something that touches near and dear to my heart is the IED, of course. This thing was like a little, a little sandy bag. And you could not see it anywhere. It blended in with just about everything. And the only thing that you could possibly see is the little light that blinks on it. And even then, it was so it was so easy to miss. And as soon as you hear that, if as soon as you hear that noise, then you already know it's over. There's no way to duck under it. You can't jump over it like a claymore. There's no way to dodge it unless you have like the blast shield or whatever. But th those things, man, they they would if they were riddled all over the map. If the whole team is using them, you were done for. Like if you didn't have the blast shield, you were done for. So that is number five. Coming in at number four, we have the color scheme. Now, a lot of people agree with me on this one as well. The color scheme that was used in Call of Duty Ghosts is not anything like it was in Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 had the vibrant, punchy colors, and Ghost was just like this grayed out, kind of washed down colors, and it was just really a really boring and depressing looking game in terms of the art style and the color scheme and that kind of thing, and that's what a lot of people didn't like about it, myself included. I prefer like the Black Ops 2 bright colors, and another, not to mention that the, the gray and dark colors made it super easy for campers to hide. I mean, it was just, it was, let's just say Ghost was a camper's dream, all right? And now coming in at number three, we have the melty kills or the low health, whatever you want to call it. Now a lot of people think that it's low health, and a lot of people think that the guns were just super overpowered and extremely melty. And I'm more of the side of the uh, you know the guns being really melty, just because the the health wasn't necessarily lower in terms of like how many bullets it takes for you to die really, but maybe it was a little bit lower. But I think it was just so, I would think it was just the really good hit detection that Ghost had because you got to admit Ghost had some pretty on point hit detection. If nothing else, I mean, I think that's what really accredited to these melty kills because, I mean, if you're hitting all these shots, then it's going to seem like you're dying faster. And a lot of people just didn't really like that. A lot of people don't like, don't like being deleted, it seems like. So uh, a lot of people weren't a fan of the melty kills, myself included. I like the higher health where you have to stay on target a little bit longer, but that's just my personal opinion. And that's what a lot of people didn't like anyway. So taking the number two spot is ghost kill streaks. Ghost kill streaks were a mess. I mean, Okay, so let's start with the guard dog. The guard dog, if you had a guard dog, it was a five kill streak, and if you died and you spawned on the other side of the map, your guard dog would make its way back to you, but kill the entire enemy team on the way, and then just look at you with those beady eyes waiting for you to make your next move. I mean, this thing was just crazy. If I'm not mistaken, it had the health of two and a half like regular soldiers, so this thing was overpowered as heck, and you could not take it down with a regular weapon with ease. So that thing got really annoying to people. Another thing is that the ghost kill streaks just weren't really that good. I mean, you had the the Hilo pilot, which was I believe was a 12, and even so, it wasn't that good. I believe the 15 was the Loki, and I've I gotta be honest, I used the Loki like three times just because I didn't like it at all. I didn't really do that much work for a 15 kill streak. That's like more than a AC 130. I mean, you should be putting in work with a 15 like with a 15 gun streak. 15 kill streak, whatever you want to call it, you should be putting in work with whatever kill streaks you're using. So a lot of the kill streaks I think were just underwhelming and ghost. So hopefully that gets fixed in whatever their next game is. Uh, if anybody at Infinity Ward is listening, take heed, heed my words that people want good kill streaks. People don't want you know nerfed Trinity missiles or whatever the Trinity rockets that are like basically nerfed Predator missiles. I, we don't want that stuff. We want to bring back the Predator missile, the AC-130. is really powerful stuff. So coming in at number one. The number one thing that we did not like about Ghost was the map. So, Call of Duty Ghost maps were interesting. Let's let's say that uh, 
a lot of people after Black Ops 2 got tired of the three lane system for maps in Call of Duty. Basically you have your left lane, your middle lane, and your right lane with kind of like little centers in between where you can switch from lane to lane. Black Ops 3 is actually really good at that. But people got tired of the three lane system because that's what Call of Duty has been on for a while now. And they wanted something different so Ghost tried that. They tried something different with the maps. They didn't follow that traditional three lane system. They went everywhere with it. I don't know if you guys remember, uh, remember Overlord. That map was a mess. And Tremor. I believe it was Tremor. It was like a uh, it had a top and bottom half, and oh my gosh, man, that map was a mess. You could not see anybody. This was like the M27 heaven. It was absolutely it was it was a horrid map to play. And I believe people stopped voting for it after about a month. I've only played that map. Actually, oh no, I played it quite a few times. Let's be real here, but like it stopped being voted for after a while because everybody knew that you could just you know, post up in the back of the map and just gun people down as they, like, look through the windows. Anybody who's remotely moving around is going to get gunned up by an M27. So the maps needed some work. They needed some more, uh, you know, design in that. It didn't really turn out how they thought it would. So the maps needed some work, and I think that is the number one thing that kind of killed Ghost for a lot of people is the map design. What do you think of my list? Do you, is there anything in Ghost that you hated more than what I listed here? If there is, leave it in the comment section down below because I'm really interested to see what also you hated about Call of Duty Ghost. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like. And also let me know what you think of this top 5 series. I'm thinking about doing a little bit more of this. Uh, it can be about any Call of Duty, any topic, any zombies thing. You know, it can be multiplayer zombies. doesn't really matter. I just thought about doing a COD top 5 for once a week just to switch it up and throw something fresh in there, you know, every once in a while. So I, I hope you guys did enjoy this anyway. And like I said, if you did, make sure you do leave a like. And if you are new to my channel, make sure you do subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video.